Hi! So today we're going to learn another fiddle tune called Drowsy Maggie. So first I'll give a little demonstration of how I play and we'll be teaching the tune and then we'll go into learning the A part and the B part slowly. So here's how I play Drowsy Maggie. So now let's learn the A part. Um, now the A part has a lot of stuff going on with a, a lot of E's. So for now, let's take those out because they complicate things and we'll add them in once we get the core melody learned. So it starts off like this. Um, the main notes are E, D, D, B. Um, and there is an F sharp and, and a C sharp. There's an F sharp and a C sharp in those tunes. But so it starts with a E, B, D, B. So let's just do that slowly. So like this. So let's do that. One, two, set, go. And now the next measure goes E, B, A, F sharp, D, F sharp. So. So let's just do that. One, two, set, go. So let's put those two measures together. It will sound like this. And I like to slur the eighth notes together so that the bow is always going the same length, I guess. So is slur, slur. I just feel like it's easier, easier to just slur the eighth notes in this tune, but feel free to do it however you want. I just feel like it's a little bit easier. Um, so let's do that. So let's do that only slowly. One, two, Set, go. And now we want to go again. E, B, D, B. So a repeat of that first measure. So let's do everything up to there. It sounds like this. So let's do that. One, two, set, go. to do B, A, B, C, and then it goes D, A, F, D. It's just an arpeggio. Let's do So now 
let's put all of that together. It will sound something like this. part once we add in the extra E's but for the most part that's the main melody of the A part so let's do that one two set go So now let's add in those E's to make it actually complete. So with each long note um, that we're playing, it's pretty much, um, for the most part, running eighth notes or sixteenths, depending on how you want to count it. But um, so the first note, the downbeat's always long, but then there's always a lot of moving notes. So it actually is E. B, E, D, E, B, E. So what I like to do is I like to just plant my first finger on both strings. It's, I have a little finger, so I have to do a little bit of rocking. But for the most part, you can just plant your finger there. And then you just rock back and forth with the bow. Um, so for each E, then we go B, E, D, E, B, E. So let's just do that really slowly. It'll sound like this. So let's just do that. One, two, set. Go. And now we, for the second measure, we just do what we know. So it's E, B, E. And now we do the rocking back and forth again. And then we go. So let's do all of that slowly. One, two, set, go. just repeats again for the one whole set of playing the A parts twice. So um, now let's let's just do that with all of the E's one more time and let's repeat the A part because it's quite short. One, two, set, go. <laughs> We just go back up to the D. Um, and now we're going into the B part. So let's learn the B part. The B part starts on a D. And we basically go D, F sharp, D, C, E sharp, E, C sharp, 
So. So let's do that. One, two, set, go. And now we want to do a scale, a D scale up. So it's going to go D, E, F sharp, G. And then we go A, F sharp, G, E. So let's do that. Let's do that. One, two, set, go. And now um, let's put those two measures together. One, two, set, go. the first measure that we learned. Only now we're going to go B, A, B, C sharp, D, A, F sharp, A. So that sounds like this. So let's do that. One, two, set, go. And now we go, we repeat our first measure again. D, F sharp, D, C sharp, E, C sharp. So we know that one, so let's go on. Then we go D, E, F sharp, G. We know that measure too. Um, so let's do everything up to there. It will sound something like this. everything up to there. Uh, one, two, set, go. sounds like this. I like to do a fourth finger, but feel free to do an open string um, as you would like. Uh, so let's do that. One, two, set, go. Now the little ending sounds like, um, it actually sounds very similar to the A part ending. Um, it goes B, A, B, C sharp, D, A, F sharp, D. And then you just go into uh, the B part isn't repeated because it's so long. So uh, the whole ending sounds like this. Just a 
an arpeggio at the end. Uh, so let's do that whole little ending, those last two measures. From, or, well, four measures, depending on how you count. One, two, set, go. And then we go into A part. It just continues on. So let's do the whole B part one time through since it's the long B part. Um, so just for memory, it starts. So that's how the B part starts. One, two, set, go. the whole B part. So now let's play the whole tune one time through. So that means playing the A part two times and the B part just the once since it's long. Uh, so the A part starts with the just for some memory. One, two, set, go. on an E. Otherwise it just kind of leaves you hanging there with the D. Um, but yeah, so that's the whole tune for Drowsy Maggie. It's it's one of those really fast tunes where if you sneeze it's over. <laughs> but um, it's, it's really fun and um, let's try to play it a little bit faster because I've always heard this, uh, people just like race through it. They take it to the races. Um, at least whatever we play it in Colorado, I've heard it like that. So let's just go a little bit faster. Um, let's go. So let's do that tempo, playing the A part two times and the B part just the once. One, two, set, go.
let's do it even faster. Now, if you can't keep up with these tempos, just know that they're just here for a practice tool. I don't mean to like discourage anyone, but it is helpful to play along with somebody. So um, that's why I'm including these tempo increases. Let's go. Let's do that. One, two, set, go. of it in four anymore I'm gonna think of it in two because it's hard to tap your foot that fast so one two da, 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 da. um I think it's a little bit easier to think like that so one two set go <laughs> like to slide up to the E's on this tune. Uh, sometimes I'll do a flick. Um, I feel like this tune goes so fast that it's kind of hard to add extra things, but um, those are usually the things I do. I either glide up to the E, um, but I always try to do something on the longer notes, but Usually it's either just a little flick or a slide up. Uh, so that is the whole uh, Drowsy Maggie tune and that's it at a very fast tempo. And if you can't reach those faster tempos, don't feel too discouraged. It's just something to work towards. And I hope that this has helped and I hope that, oops, <laughs> I hope that you have fun practicing and that you have a good week.